Okay, in this video I will show you how context matches work in Swordfish 3. I will be translating these two sample documents. I have a short presentation video about them and I will include the link in the description field below. So let's switch to Swordfish. I will start by creating a database. I will call it Google. I will define it as internal and I will create it. Okay, it has been created. Now next I will select it as a TM and I will define it as a write enabled database. And now we'll go to the file menu and I will select convert files to XLIF format. I will add my first document to be translated. It's uh, this one here, open. I will click on next. I will select uh, English, US as the source language and French as the target language. And I will be adding the translations to the TM. So convert files. Now my file has been converted and I can quickly translate it. Okay, now all nine segments in this document have been translated. So I can close this uh, document and uh, I will open the next one. So I'll select uh, File, Convert Files to XLIF Format. I will add my second document, this one. Next. I already have the proper languages, so I'll select Convert Files. Now my second document is open for translation, but instead of translating it interactively with the TM, I will select Tasks and Leverage In Context Exact Matches. And now I will tell Swordfish which document should be used for extracting the context and uh, this is this one, the one that we just translated and open. And I will overwrite the existing translations, yes. And now Swordfish tells me that uh, it leveraged translations in four segments and uh, if we have a look we can see that these segments are segment number one, number two, and if we go further down we can find this one which is uh, uh, number six and again number nine. So we have uh, exactly the same segments that we obtained in Hardsome and uh, MemoQ, segments number one, two, six and nine. But instead of using the TM, we used the document that we translated uh, previously in order to leverage these uh, context matches. And uh, now we can translate the rest of the segments. So I'm in segment number one. If I move to the next one, I will get a 100% match this time from the TM. If I move to, segment, to the next segment, Number three, again, I get a 100% match from the TM. Segment number four was the new segment, so it was not translated. We have to translate it from scratch. And I can move to segment number five. Again, I get a 100% match from the TM. If I move to the next segment, I will get to the context match that I got already from the document and the next one is a 100% match from the TM. So is segment number eight and segment number nine. We already had it uh, as a context match from the first document. So there you have it, context matches in Swordfish. So in Swordfish, we did not use the TM to extract uh, context matches, instead, we used the first document we translated. So this is a bit similar to what uh, Studio Professional and MemoQ are doing with the perfect match feature in Studio and the X-Translate feature in MemoQ. 
but the results that we get with swordfish are the same as with Hartsum, MemoQ and also to some extent uh, Deja Vu when using uh, context matches from the TM. Thank you for watching, do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.